This is a cool bot. It's a walk-in cooler slash refrigerator that is used to keep our fruit, veggies, and other foods for a longer period of time, and to also hang the beef we butcher. And I'm gonna show you how we built it today on Bats of Farm. Let's first get into how we built it. It all started with us getting a giant pile of parts for the cool bot. The parts plus an air conditioner to keep the inside of it cool when we got it built. We then had to open this giant pile of cooler parts, which was quite the ordeal. Not just for me, but for my grandpa who was helping us. He obviously was having a hard time trying to teach me how to open the cool bot parts. That's not what you use. Put those back. Grab the red handle thing to your left. Where nothing gonna happen. Sure. Yeah. Right. Put it in one hand and go like this. Mm -hmm. right. One hand. Sorry, Grandpa. Once we got the parts open, me and my brother had to scrape all the dirt off where we were going to put the cool bot. It took a little bit until we got every single dust particle off the floor, but when we did, we started caulking the edges where the cool bot would go. And what I mean by we, I mean Grandpa. No wonder his back hurts all the time. Once we caulked one side, we set down the first floor piece for the cooler. And then we did the same thing to the other side and locked both of the pieces together. We then put up the corners, sides, and top of the new walk-in cooler by locking them together the same way we did the floor. Let me pause a second. What again are we doing this all for? We didn't just buy a giant refrigerator to take up space in our barn for nothing. Two words, my friend, food preservation. We will use this like a cellar for fruits and vegetables. But most importantly, we are building this to cool the meat we butcher. If you've ever butchered a cow, a deer, or some kind of large animal, once it's gutted, you need to hang and cool the meat. Doing this allows the knife to cut more easily into the meat and to help the grinder not get clogged up with fat. When meat is warm, it gets sticky and nobody likes sticky meat. We can hang up our cow or deer or other animal in the cool bot with these rails that connect to hooks. And one of the most tedious parts of building the cool bot was all these little holes that needed to be filled with little plugs. These were the holes that were used to lock the cooler pieces together. Next, we put in the air conditioner unit. We started by screwing in the frame of the air conditioner unit first, and then sliding in the machine into the frame. After that, we added the last few pieces to the cool bot before we had to hand it over to the electricians. They hooked the cooler up and got it running. But here comes a very important question. Can you get locked in the cool bot? The answer is a fortunate no. By pushing on the door of the cool bot, you can easily get out. But if somebody locks you in, there is an emergency system that you can also get out of it. And there you have it. Our cooler is now complete with our produce inside. The cool bot stays continually at 40 degrees to keep the bacteria at bay from our fruits and vegetables. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now I gotta get my mom some potatoes. Thank you for watching. That's a farm.